for internet uh, another lesson in, in for the bootstrap 3 playlist uh, in this lesson as I told I am going to cover model windows if you don't know what model windows are model windows are those pop-up boxes that you get with the shaded uh, with the transparent dark background uh, you will see soon so to a model these model windows have two things first the model window and another button that we should click in order to trigger the model window so let's get started and create our button so that we to click in order to bring up the model window so let's create a button with the class of btn and btn primary give it a blue color and we want data toggle to be model and data target what is the model ID that we want to show so we can show model 1 okay and let's give it a show model okay so that is the button we got the button nothing happens when we do click it now but let's create the model div with the class of model and we have to give it an id of course the id is equal to the id we mentioned here model one oops and of course a mod let's put a tab index of minus one so you the user can type cannot tab the model window and a role of dialog next uh, yeah so let's create another div with the class of model dialog and the model has three components a header a body and a footer so let's create three divs for that div class of model header and div class of model body and footer okay in the header uh, we need a button so that we can close the model so um, let's create a button with a class of close and we're going to give it a dead a dismiss dismiss model we want to dismiss the model when it is being clicked so give it n times and next we want a title for the heading so h4 class with model title model title okay then let's put some kind of paragraph tag and put some text here subscribe subscribe to the doing it easy channel and for the footer let's put two buttons uh, first button uh, with the class of let's put buttons why no, let's put anchor decks with the class of btn btn default and let's give it a data dismiss equals to model and close okay that's one we need another one let's say save this is going to save whatever you want to save remove this and give it uh, ok 
Okay. I think that's it. So let's check it out. Mm, nothing seems to be happening. I gave a model ID. Toggle model. And data toggle model. Oops. I spelled everything wrong. Correct, 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 correct. Save. Ooh, where are our classes? ID is dialogue. Model dialogue. Oops, I forgot a class. I need a class to wrap these things around. Do you class of model content? Content. Okay, so this has to go and finish here. Okay, so let's check it out now. As you can see, we got it right. Let's refresh and check it again. Show model title, subscribe to the Doing It Tease channel, and here's the data dismiss close button here. And of course, we have a close button here which will dismiss the model as well. There you go. And some there are some more attributes you can do. You can make this fade in the model fade into the window. To do that, it's easy. Just put the class of fade and there you go, it fades in. Mm, next, there are different sizes of these model windows. Uh, there is model LG. So let's put model content and model LG to make it look bigger. And there's model SM, I think. There you go. And let's remove this. And of course, this is it really works well with the smaller devices. When you small it, as you can see, the model window gets smaller as well. Okay, that covers model windows. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys use it in your projects. And thanks for watching. Subscribe and like, comment to on my lessons. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye.